So we're here in Congress because recently some secret U.S. Uh, intel agents leaked a tall tale to the press about China planning to establish a huge secret base in Cuba near Florida. But the truth is there's zero evidence to back this up. Even the Pentagon confirmed that the story was wrong. We're going to go to Jimenez's office to turn in to give him an actual article that's refuting um, what he's saying, which is basically that uh, China is building a spy base in Cuba. So this is the article that we are delivering today. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. Hello. I'm How are you guys? I'm good. Uh, well, I just, I couldn't help but excuses. notice that you guys have a poster outside your office with uh, misinformation. Oh no, actually, it's why, not very, why very are you much, guys spreading very, this lies? Very this is absolute lies. Oh, there, look, I look at the look at yeah. this political look, article, look which is they're they're shaking, this is like look at that. Look at that. This is like shaking your you don't, you guys, you don't want to you don't want to hear the truth. Okay, you don't want to hear the truth. Like you don't want to. This office tells lies, and they are not willing to actually listen to the truth. They're just interested in promoting aggression towards Cuba and China, no matter how many lies they have to make up. So we try talking to them. Uh, we try to give them the article where it clearly states that that report was inaccurate. Uh, but they just didn't want to listen. They don't want to listen. They actually barred us from the office uh, for one year. They, uh, I mean, they say that Cuba and China are totalitarian regimes, authoritarian, etc. But when we come here, they, to talk to them and to give them an article, they call the police and lie. We didn't harass them. We were just talking to them. But that's democracy here.